A Brompton has been my favorite folding bag since I started reviewing folding bags in 2014. I've used a few Brompton bags and all of them were standard or black editions. I always wanted a Brompton super light but couldn't afford its expensive price tag. Recently, the Superlight is rebranded as P-Line and it even comes with a crazier price tag of nearly 3,000. The P-Line weighs just over 21 pounds but is no longer the lightest Brompton bike after the t light with titanium frame is released. As compared to my previous Brompton, the p light is still significantly lighter. Although the main frame is still made of steel, the rear frame and fork are made of titanium. After testing some heavy bikes recently, it was a huge relief to deal with this Brompton. I can easily lift it up and carry around with one hand. A notable change of the bike is the larger and lighter rolling wheels. This is very useful when you fold down the bike and want to push it around without lifting it up. The seat post can now be locked up to different heights. You can set it at the lower level for more compact storage. At the higher height, you can roll the bike around by pushing the saddle. Unfortunately, I didn't have good experience pushing the bike around. It works fine on smooth roads but has many trouble on bumpy ones. Since the head is lifted up, the suspension block get very close to the ground and can be damaged if you are not careful. If you really want to roll the bike, you should consider buying a roller frame, which is a real rack with a pair of small roller wheels. The folding mechanism of this p light is the same as any other Brompton and I love it. The whole process is so smooth and quick and the folded size is super compact. Once you get used to the process, you can easily fold and unfold the bike in 10 to 15 seconds. I've seen some people fold and unfold it in less than 10 seconds. I tested some Brompton clones but none of them could perfect it like Brompton did. Another important update is the 4-speed gearing with a cassette instead of an internal gear hub. It provides a similar gear ratio to the 3-speed hub. The gear range is not as wide as my previous 6-speed Brompton, but I actually prefer this 4-speed because it is so easy to switch gears and helps reduce the weight. Obviously, the Brompton is not ideal when you have to climb a lot of hills. The Brompton looks a little peculiar, but the riding experience is actually much more stable and comfortable than I could imagine. Of course, it's not as fast and powerful as road bikes. I mostly use it on paved roads and bike paths. To conclude, let's check out all pros and cons of the Brompton. Pros Lightweight with titanium and steel frame High quality build and slick look the iconic design with quick folding and unfolding process. Cons Ex Expensive Difficult to roll Suitable for urban riding only The P-Line is an elite folder and I can't justify its $3,000 price tag. I spent just over $1,600 for my Brompton a few years ago and I wouldn't spend more than 1000 just to shave off 3 or 4 pounds. I'd expect a full titanium frame at this price range. I love the bike but can't recommend it at this time.